we can go back to last year all we want, but I feel like that's uh, that's over. I don't really feel like that's any motivation toward what's going to happen with this year's team. I mean, we uh, we can celebrate that only long enough. So I, I, we, we've talked about that with the team over and over. So I look at it like, uh, you know, I don't think our opponents are, are really worrying about what happened last year. So I don't think we should either. Um, and if we're worrying about that and, and, and focusing on that, I don't know that that's got a, a huge bearing on what we're going to do, you know, for this season. But I am excited to get started today. I am excited for uh, for us to get back on the field from the fall because I do think we have some pieces um, that can that we, that we can work with to to work toward, you know, potentially, you know, getting back to the to playing at the top of the league. Yeah, um, I think there's a lot of places that we improved. Uh, the first one that sticks out to me is uh, offensively. Um, I think, you know, obviously we only lost one guy in the lineup and uh, I think we replaced him really well. So offensively, I think we're going to be just as dangerous, if not more. Um, and then with the pitching staff, you know, we lost a couple of key guys, um, but we did a good job recruiting over the summer and, and brought in some good arms. So I think we're just going to be a solid team. We've also got you know, a lot of older guys too. You know, we're going to be graduating 19, I think it is. So uh, we got a lot of experience and I'm really looking forward to it. Well, I think experience is the only way you get experience is having experience. And, you know, like, uh, like Alex said, we've got, um, you know, we've got a, a group coming back that we only lost one guy that played uh, played a lot last year so replacing that is good but we also added some other pieces as well that should be able to make us even deeper than we were last year you know but nothing is uh, nothing's really decided until you get out there and and you know you, you have this uh this preseason practice and we get into a game against somebody else but but i think we all our whole team is excited about what's to come and what we've got look to look forward to but uh, the veteran group is exciting because the experience is going to go a long way in, in, in helping us get to where we want to go I think it could, it's going to be really helpful for us. Uh, for me personally, uh, when we dogpiled last year after that ASUN championship, that's the first dogpile I've ever been a part of. Um, and I, I think that was the first for a lot of the guys in there. And and to get that taste in our mouth and, and know what that feeling feels like and then getting to go play in a regional like Clemson, uh, I think it just makes us even hungrier because uh, we've been there before and we know what it takes to get there. And, and I think we're all prepared to, you know, we've already put in a lot of work over the fall and we just know what it takes to, to grind throughout the spring and, and get to play in June, so it'll be good. Lipscomb completed the A-Sun sweep as both the regular season and tournament champions following its 2023 campaign. The Bisons secured their third league banner and first since 2015 to earn the honor to represent the A-Sun with an automatic berth to the NCAA championship. This year, Lipscomb opens play in the Music City, hosting their first eight games against Ohio, Western Kentucky, and Xavier. Conference play begins for the Bisons, hosting in-state foe Austin P.